Hello, hello, people. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. I'm good. All right. Hello, good evening. <laughs> I'm good too. Good evening. The weather is so hot. No para de trabajar, Evelyn, ¿verdad? No, hay que trabajar para llegar campeones. ¿Y qué, y qué pasó? ¿Ganaron? ¿Qué pasó, teacher? Ah. <risa> ah, es que ya estamos como el Madrid. ¿Ya para qué? ¿Ya para qué? Es para llegar. Ni sé yo, honestamente ni sé cómo van. Yo tampoco no, no, no he visto. Pues quedaron, ganó ahí la 3 a 1. Y sí, eso sí lo vi que ganaron. Y quedan, en, ya como ya se cerró la tabla, quedó Alianza siempre en primero y ahí en segundo. Oh. Pero es cuarto de final y eh, ya en cuarto de final pues el que quedó en octavo se juega con el primero mm. el segundo con el séptimo el tercero con el quinto no. ya por ahí va cuarto ah, algo así <ríe> pero van de abajo para arriba ¿sí? Oiga, pero se ha levantado el águila, ¿no? El año pasado no, no estuvo tan bien, ¿o sí? No, no andaba bien. Lo que pasa es que cuando llega un nuevo, el como administrador, no, dirigente podría ser, este, se lleva la pila de los jugadores, y como hay jugadores que tienen contratos por cierto periodo, entonces no lo pueden quitar, no puede llevar a su gente. Entonces mm. ya vayan saliendo y ya tienen a los que quieren tener. Ahí tenemos un tilín que juega a fútbol también. ¿Perdón? Ahí tenemos un tilín que juega a fútbol. No entendí. A, a Tilio eh, es jugador. Ah, es jugador, ¿de dónde? El once deportivo. Yo era joven. Ah, el once no me quiso. Se me el once no me quiso. Se me ve como ah. que es un niño de 15 años en la cancha. Ah, es posible. Todavía, todavía. Todavía. Pero. Eh, todavía. El fantasma le dicen. Ya se muestra, porque se murió. No. Excelente. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. Bueno, a ver. A ver cuándo se, se da unos pases, Evelyn, para poder hacerle barra al águila al estadio. No le gustó. No se oye, eso ya no se oye. ¿verdad? A ver si con suerte llegamos a la final, le consigo alguno por ahí. Va. Gracias allá en el estadio, ¿eh? Va. Sí. Todos en inglés cantando el himno. Iba a ser, iba a ser, iba a ser Águila Alianza. Pues mira, en esos cuartos de final todo puede pasar. En un, eh, no sé en qué torneo, en, creo que Chalate fue que eliminó a Águila. Ah, el torneo, hace dos torneos. Mm, y este... en, el, en el último minuto le metió este, el, 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 este el apellido Díaz. Y Chalate no anda mal. Bueno, han sido los mejores que se han mantenido arriba siempre en la tabla. 
Excelente. <laughs> okay, people, let's get started tonight. It is time. And uh, well, um, last class we were talking about the imperative. Yes, uh, well, we finished talking about that. Oh, well, let's take the attendance. Let's take the first attendance of the evening. So please turn your on your cameras and respond. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Hey, okay, good evening. Good evening. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Erika de Nilsson, not yet. Eric José Hernández. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. What? Evelyn Guadalupe Gómez. Present. Perfect. Hernán Antonio Chacón. Hernán. Yet. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay, welcome Jennifer. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Oh, very good, welcome. Jose Abel Izaguirre. Here present teacher. Okay. Jose Abel, the personal session is with you tonight. Okay. okay, teacher. Jose Miguel Massa. Jose Miguel, not here. Preparing for tomorrow. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Porque ahí sí. me está hablando la vez pasada. Y nada, y me, que yo Luis la verdad me dice. Miguel. Pero la verdad quizás no tengo el. el, el... Luis Miguel Corvera. Algo. Eh, Marcos Vidal Umaña. Present. Good. Eh, Nelson Orlando Tejada. Good evening. Good evening. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Perfect. René Alessandro Teresón. Good evening, teacher. Here Good we evening. Are. Ruth Abigail Brito. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Sofia Carolina Hernandez. Present, teacher. Good. Welcome. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Perfect. Suleyma Rosibel Catalan. No. Jorge Luis Martinez. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present, teacher. Perfect. Okay, very good. Let's move on then to lesson three. Okay, let's share the screen. Today's objective is 
you will be able to state the frequency of activities you do in your work and use expressions to state urgency or commands. Hmm. Okay. Wow, let's see this couple of questions. What are three things you do every day in your workplace? And what is something you never do? Ah, oh, we talked, you already talked about this. Let's do it. Yeah. It's so. Okay, but let's read this. Read about Mr. Wilson. Check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Oh. Okay, there is a short paragraph here about Mr. Wilson. Let me read it for you first, and then we are going to work. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay. With this information, first check the sentences true or false. Okay, which sentences are true, which, which sentences are false. And then, if the sentence is false, you have to write the correct information here, the right information. Okay, I repeat. You have to check the sent these sentences true or false according to the paragraph. And the false sentences, you have to correct them. That is, you need to write the correct information. Is that clear? Yes, teacher, it is clear. Okay. So I'll put you in groups to work on that. And I'll give you like five minutes or so to do it. See, six groups, it's, it's okay. How many are you? Okay. To, to, to. Who is in a work conference? Oh, okay. I'll put you in here. Okay. Um. Great. When you're ready, you can join the group. Don't worry, Tony. Okay. So, um. Join your groups, please, and work on those activities. True or false and correct the, the wrong sentence. You. What? 
sorry teacher ah, eh, yo puse en el grupo que iba a estar como oyente porque tengo ah, la actividad de, del trabajo tú eres yo no sabía sí, quién era ok ok y quédate entonces gracias teacher no problem Si quiero una consulta, usted sabrá por qué un archivo no lo termina de descargar. No lo termina de descargar. O sea, cuando le doy, por ejemplo, estoy en, en el sistema que ocupamos en nuestra empresa y le doy exportar al archivo, pero se queda en una ruedita como en blanco y, o sea, no, no se termina de descargar y, y por ende no, no lo puedo abrir y necesita abrir eso. Oh. Oh. Pueden haber muchas razones, o es muy pesado, o el Inter. No, es, es, un, es un archivo de, 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 de Word, le voy a mostrar. Mm. No, eso es un Excel. Sí, pero no, no lo puedo descargar. O sea, ahí no puedo acceder. No ahí puedo se acceder. supone que ya terminó. De... No, si le doy clic para abrirlo, no. ¿Qué te dice? Doble clic, no. Dale en la flechita que tiene ahí a la derecha. Abrir al. al finalizar. Ponerte mostrar en carpeta, a ver qué. Ya. No te abre ninguna ventana. No, no. Estoy luchando con esto, pero está malísimo. Me aparece sin confirmar. Ya lo intentaste dos veces. Sí, ya. Estoy luchando con esto que tengo que enviar mi informe y no puedo. Está raro. Algún defecto tiene. Aquí, aquí me parece así.
<laughs> Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Dos cositas. Primero se salió Sofía del grupo. No sé si se logró volver a conectar y ya no se pudo meter al grupo. Y segundo, teníamos que solo contestar esas preguntas y leer el párrafo y alguna otra actividad o solo era eso lo que teníamos que hacer es que no entendimos muy bien. Ok, so las que han marcado con X son false. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces hay que... ¿Por qué la primera es falsa? Ah, el apellido. Wilkins, ah, ok. Entonces hay que corregirlas en el espacio. Hay que poner la información correcta. Aquí ya lo Ajá. pusimos a la par de las... Como X y la, la oración correcta. Ah, sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. eso, ah, eso es todo. Eso era todo. Ah, uh -huh. Era la duda que teníamos. Si había algo más, y vamos a hacer lo que decía ya el punto número uno. La de what are the time? No. Signs. Uh -huh. Things. 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 Uh -huh. Things. Ok. Ok. Esa era la duda, teacher. Very good. Y les Gracias. Mando, aquí les mando a Sofía otra vez. Bye. Bye. Mi grupo son ustedes. El seis. Seis, creo que. Baby. Baby. Okay, welcome back. Let's let us check. Okay, first. His name is John Wilkins, true or false? False. False. Oh. False. Okay. He writes reports every day. True or false? False. False. Oh. He never answers the phone and talks to customers. False. 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 He often attends meetings in the morning. False.
he never attend things in the afternoon. False. True or false, people? I false. can hear you. False. False. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know. I'm not writing you. Six. He usually has events in his company. False. False. Oh my, all of them are false. Seven, he has false. to go to a conference to July 22nd. False. False. Oh. None is true. Ninguna is true. No. Four. Four. Four, is, four is, is, is true. Exactly. I am just four. Four is true. For me, four is five is true. Just... Huh. True. Okay, let's see. Veamos ahorita. His name is John Wilkins. Okay, what is the correct information? His name His is, name is John. John Wilson. His name is John Wilson. Ah. John Wilson. Okay, so it's false, definitely. Number two, he writes reports every day. What is the truth? He checks email. He checks email? Every, every day. day. For the company every day. Okay, what does the information say? Check emails for the company. Yes, for the company every day. Only for the company. Okay. Good. Three. What about reports? I always. I always. I always answer the phone. Never. He always answers the phone. Always. He always. He always answers the phone. He always answers the phone. Talk to potential company employee. Talk to customers. No. Talk to potential employees. Okay. Employees. This and talks to potential employees. Okay, he often attends meetings in the morning. What is the truth? I attend the meeting. Attend the meeting in the morning. Generally. Generally. Uh -huh. Generally. So, do you consider that is false? Yes. Why? Why do you think number four is false? Hello. Porque no menciona que que bueno, dice, I always answer, perdón, I attend meetings in the morning. Solo menciona que o dice que atiende reuniones por la mañana, pero no usualmente. Generalmente dice. Wow, generalmente. Generally. 
Generally, generally. Y aquí dice often. Generally and often. Generalmente y a menudo. A menudo. Don't you think uh, are the same? No. No. No, it's not the Generally same. Generally, it's more, more times, I think. Maybe in the five days, you have them, maybe two, three days. Uh, generally, often. Okay. Uh huh, Tony. What do and you remember know? that often is about the seventy percent of the of the frequency. Generally, is is something relative like usually or or uh, normally. And then, and two of these words or adverbs is and usually a ninety percent and normally eighty percent is uh, like a similar of a generally. Is oh. more with more frequency. <laughs> okay, but actually, well, I don't see it, those numbers are not very. Uh, how can I say exact? So when they give you a percentage for the frequency adverb, that is not very exact. Okay, that is just to give you an idea, right? Uh, so, because this is not mathematics, right? So, but uh, in my opinion, generally and often are similar. So, generally I attend meetings in the morning is the same if I say I often attend meetings in the morning for me. Okay, but that is a matter of opinion and I will respect your opinion here. Um, yeah, it's, if you say that in Spanish, generalmente, um, often is uh, a menudo, well, or con frecuencia. But okay, so. If you think this is false, the truth is he generally attends meetings in the morning. Eso sería la, lo correct, la información. Okay, no problem. He... In the morning. Okay. Pero no se casen con las cifras. No se casen con los porcentajes que se dan para explicar los adverbios de frecuencia. Porque no son cifras exactas. Para darnos nada más una idea del, en qué caso lo podemos usar. Ok. Five. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. Is that true or false? Well, ya dijimos que es false, perdón. What is the correct, what is the truth? The open attends meeting in the afternoon. Okay, esto sí es diferente because never is never, zero, right? And often is, there is some frequency. He often attends Meetings. And meetings. After. No. After. Okay. Very good. He usually has events in his company. What is the truth? He always. He always okay. has events in this. In his company. 
then finally, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. He has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Conference on July 23rd. Okay, very good. So, as you said, um, there, there are some words here or adverbs, as you mentioned it, um, that express frequency, okay? One of them is generally. What other word to express fre frequency can you find in the in this paragraph? Always. Always. Let me. Okay. Every day. Uh -huh. Every day. Mm -hmm. Often. 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 We always have, always. Always. In the afternoon is a frequency. Uh, no. No, okay. Mm, no, that is uh, at an expression, a time expression. In the afternoon, we have to have the morning line now. Okay, very good. Always answer generally, not so often. It would be this, not so often. In my company, we all we have to turn on July. Okay, very good. So, as you said, so these are frequency adverbs, words that um, express the frequency of an activity. Right? Very good, very good. Now, the next activity says, based on the reading, so using this reading or this text as a model, using this paragraph as a model, you have to write a similar paragraph about you and what you do at your job, okay? So I will give you a few minutes to write a paragraph like this. But what is about you. paragraph? Paragraph is this. Paragraph. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So write about you using these, these expressions. There are also other expressions here like never. You can use never if you want. You can use usually. You can use every day. Okay, so please take your time and write a paragraph about you. When you finish, please raise your hand to let me know that you are done. Answers? Any question with the activity? Is it clear? Si alguien no le queda yeah, claro? Yeah, yes, it's clear. Claro que sí. Okay. This paragraph has how many sentences? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, like 
is a paragraph about 10 sentences. Well, something similar. Did you?
teacher. Yes. Eh, one, una pregunta. Mm -hmm. One question. Eh, ya finalicé el párrafo y debo de crear las, también las preguntas. Así como lo que está en, el, en la captura anterior. Question. O solo, el, o solo el párrafo. No, just, just the paragraph about you. Ah, excellent. That's Thank it. You, okay, please raise your hand to show me that you finished. Thank you. Okay, people, I'm going to take the second attendance, continue working, and in the meantime, I will call you for the attendance. Okay. 
Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Thank you. Consuelo Saraí Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Denilson Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Eric José Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Evelyn Guadalupe Gómez. Present. Perfect. Hernán Antonio Chacón. And today, what happened with Hernán? Hey, Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher. Perfect. Hey, Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Good. Jose Abel Izaguirre. Here present teacher. Good. Jose Miguel Maza. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Perfect. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present. Good. Marcos Vidal Umaña. Present. Good. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present teacher. Great. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Good. René Alessandro Teresón. Present teacher. Okay. Ruth Abigail Brito. Present teacher. Perfect. Sofía Carolina Hernández. Present. Okay. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Perfect. Suleima Rosibel Catalan. Not present. Jorge Luis Martinez. Present. Perfect. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present teacher. Great. Okay. Continue. One, two, three. Raise. Or oh, rose her their hands. Okay.
two more minutes, please. I hope you are about to finish. I think the the paragraph in the book is too similar to my daily routine. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Marco Atilio too. Oh. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, people. Now I will put you in groups again. And I want you to talk about your paragraphs, okay? Share the information about your work with your partners, right? And you can ask questions, you can come make comments. That's perfect. So, in your groups, let me create new groups so you can interact with different people. Ok, tomen el tiempo y compartan sus palabras. Join your groups, please.
I always check the phone. For health, health, the customer. Okay, in my case, it would be, hello, my name is Nelson Tejada. I work in Claro, El Salvador. I am a boss of distribution. Okay, distribution. Every day, checks emails. I generally attend meetings. I always drive to different salons. I often attend clients and um, um, I'm away. Te digo el mío, va. Hello, my name is Marcos Umbaña. I... Ah, pues voy a decirlo yo, ahorita voy. Bueno. Solo para que no nos vaya a rellenar el ticho. Ahí voy, ahí voy, ahí voy. Aquí está. Ahí está. El de aquí abajo es el de, el de Luis Miguel, ¿verdad? así que... No me vayan a decir que es el mío, que es más largo. Hello, people. My name is... Don. For help to sell services. Because I am a good seller, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, Can you ask me if you want? Question. Uh, I have a question for you, Evelyn. Okay. What is your place in your work? Hmm? What is your place in your work? Where? Okay. It's um uh, in uh, in the place is a escalon. Yeah, I I work in SPT. Don't don't don't. Okay. When, what is your place in your work? When, what is your place? When, okay. Yo te escuché where. <laughs> Or well do you work? Sinceramente no te entiendo mucho <laughs> la pregunta. <laughs> ah, where do you work? What do you work? Así es. Where? 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 ¿Dónde? Es que, no, es que cuando me dicen where, después me dicen what. Oh, no, no. Only where. Ok. Eh, I work in audit consulting financial tax. It's a... Um... <sighs> Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Seguimos. No, you can practice. Uh -huh. Nice. Que aprendimos, dice, que somos a, a Tilio y yo somos afortunados porque no trabajamos sábado. <laughs> ah, excelente. <laughs> only only uh, training o um, emergency. Uh -huh. I only emergency. <laughs> Perfect. Good. <laughs> And I always work. <laughs> See you for you. Books or errors? Oh, okay. Books, books, eh, books. Podemos definirlo como 
Bichos. ¿Cómo? Sí, sí, sí. Como bichos o bichos. insectos. Ah, ah, este. Bichos o insectos. Ajá, que en, 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 program en programación así le llamamos a los errores. Box. Ah, ok. ¿Qué Yes. Okay, welcome back. Oh, there are only 17. What happened with the others? Sofia. Tenía uh, problemas sí. en el enlace. Eh, eh, estaba ah. intentando solventarlo, así que me imagino que no va a tardar en entrar nuevamente. Okay. Okay, so let's start. I want to hear you talking about your your activities at work. So, I say, Nelson Orlando, can you please start? Nelson Orlando? One minute, one minute. Okay. One minute, one minute. Okay, and my parents and Eric Hernandez, his name is Eric Hernandez. Así es, pero nosotros tenemos que decir el el el. No, 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 no. no. Tell me about you. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me about you. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, my name is Nelson Tejada. I job in Claro, El Salvador. I boss uh, of distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, I check emails every day. Mm -hmm. uh, I generally, generally attend meetings. I always drive to different sales rooms. I often attend clients. Yeah, only that. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, let's continue with Jose Abel. Boy. Hi, my name is Jose Abel. I work in a home office every week. I always attend the meeting in the morning. I always working in the system company, in fixes book, and develop new processes in the system. I often upload changes of my team to production server in the cloud. I always check reports in the morning and sometimes in the afternoon. I never develop in the apps the company. Okay, and very good. Thank you. Now, Jorge, oh no, I don't think Jorge is available. Um, Pedro, Pedro Alexander. Yes, teacher. Tell us about you, please. 
Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Pedro Alexander. Uh, sometimes I work in the office, but usually my work is outside of the office. I am a uh, engineer electrical. I check emails and work order every day in the morning. And I often request materials. Uh, then I go, I go all the orders that the clients request. And I often supervise work all contractor companies. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Eric Jose. Boy. Uh, hello, my name is Eric Hernandez. I am software developer and technical support. I was attend meeting at 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Usually check emails of the company. I often create reports for company. I always check the phone for helps the customer the use of system. I often attend meeting in the afternoon and always work in my house. Hey, excellent, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Ruth Abigail. Um, hello, my name is Ruth Brito. I work in office. I am a store manager. Every day I check email and WhatsApp for the company. I always answer the phone to talk to the potential client. In uh, general, I attend meetings every day in the morning, never in the afternoon. I hardly ever watch virtual conference. Uh, I never get late to work. Work is my passion. Ah, okay, good. Excellent. Um, let's see, Consuelo. I, no, my name is Sarai Rivas. I always get up at 6 a.m. because I usually go to the store early. I often talk to customers so they can take advantage of the promotion we have. I usually have meeting on Saturdays I never go out, go out to sell on the street. I always rest on Tuesday. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Um, Sofia. Hello. My name is Sofia. I work. Um, we 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 love company um massage therapy um I go in every day um a a club I was do massage uh and wear the form. Every um um and it's wise. Yeah, I make um uh, and my company and uh, we always go vacation um December. Finish. Okay, very good. Uh, let's hear Jose Fernando. Hello, my, my name is Fernando Palacios. I work in Casco Safety. I am warehouse manager. Every day I, I check email. Um, I hardly ever call clients. I always deliver product for route. 
I always have a meeting on Monday. I I never late. Only. Okay, very good. Uh, Mary Jose. No, ya pasó, ¿eh? Uh, Jennifer Gabriela. Hi, teacher. Um, hello, my name is Gabriela Arevalo. I work at Biomedica. And this is my clinic for weight and station laser and product natural. And I am nutritionist. Every day I call my patient and I wait. And every day I have patient with laser station. We have a clinic in Guatemala, in Honduras, and USA. And we are about to open in Panama. And wow. my, my your, journal is I in the Monday to Tuesday in 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The Friday only 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I always work Saturday and 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And that's it. <laughs> Very busy. Yes. Okay, thank you. Mr. Elias, please, your turn. Okay. Hello, people. My name is Tony Elias. I work on Claro El Salvador. I'm a Salas Territorial Manager. I have two offices that normally I work in Santa Ana building. Occasionally, occasionally I have meetings in Santa Tecla office too because it's my second principal office. My main work tool is my computer. I always use it. My second work tool is my smartphone because usually I can see the sales alerts and the works chats in WhatsApp, workplace chat, Telegram, and emails too. Sometimes I use to take the meetings in Microsoft Teams and some apps. My job is very time demanding. My job never is boring. Okay, good, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, uh, yes, Marcos, please. Hello, my name is Marcos Umbaña. I work in Claro El Salvador. I am super I am supervisor. Um, uh, um every day I check email for the company or uh, an author. Uh, I always answer the phone and talk to client. Uh, I, I am attend meetings one week. I one week in my company. We always have even on the weekend. Only okay. that. Okay, very good. Now Rene. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, hello, my name is Rene Tereson. My work is half in the in the office and outside the office. I am a quality manager. And every day I show up at the office on time. I am always aware of my WhatsApp because sometimes clients write to me 
to report failures in the internet service. And I rarely answer because I forget. I also print clients invoices and then I go to who area delivering them. And I never take care of the internet services installation, installations area. They almost always ask me for help to sell services. I, I believe that I am a good seller, right? Um, there is always work, thank God. That's it, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rene. Uh, let's continue with Mr. Paniawa. Hello, my name is William Paniawa. I'm a graphic designer. I work in an office. I always check email all day. I always send proposal for approval to client. I hardly ever attend meetings. I sometimes call to customer for clear doubts and never have to leave my work area. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, let's see, Atilio. Microphone, Atilio, please. Hello. Hello. My name is my name is Atilio Castillo. I work in Claro El Salvador. I am a solid route supervisor. Uh, every day I check the company email. I sometime in the afternoon. And I attend morning on Monday. Um, I also call client to resolve problem. I never work on Saturday. Finish. Excellent. Very good. Jennifer Lisset, please. Hello. My name is Jennifer Aquino. I work in office of Sunny SCA de CB. I am a keeper. I always drink coffee or the breakfast before I start the work. Every day shake email for the company and the WhatsApp. I usually call clients and employees. I often write report of accounts for the boss. I never interview the employers now. I attend a meeting once in the week. I never work Saturday, only emergency. And usually finish of the work at 5 o'clock p.m. Okay, great. Um... Please, Ms. Gomez. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Evelyn Gomez. I always get up early every day, but I sometimes go to lay at work for the traffic. I have two jobs. And the first job is uh, audit consulting financial tax. I am administrator. In the other job is a uh, is a uh, fruit deportivo Aguila. I am um, I work with outsourcing. Um, I usually have a meeting in the morning with my boss. Uh, I never breakfast in the office. I usually eat uh, my lunch in my apartment with my son. Uh, I live very near. Um, it's really that I come home early. I always bring work for home. 
And in the other job, uh, I, I always sleep with my players, with players, and I always serve the customer of the online store. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. And finally, I guess, Mr. Corvera. All right. <clears throat> hello, hello, my name is Luis Corvera. I work in Claro. I am a supervisor. Every day I check emails and update report for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to sales staff. Always I have a meeting in the morning and often in the afternoon. Normal, normally in the room, I check cell phone radio frequency signal to guarantee good experience for our customer. In my company, we always have sales events in the downtown. Sometimes I have to train vendors. Excellent, very good, very good. Nice job, people. Now I know a little bit more about you and what you do for a living. Great. Now, I don't know if you have any question about this. If not, let's continue. The... Okay. Okay, the next thing is, we have this very, very short conversation. And here, we are going to talk about expressions to state urgency. Expressions to state urgency. Look at this short conversation. between Mark and Bree. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important, right away. Hmm. One more time. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Good. Now, repeat, please, after me. I really need that memo, Bree. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. Just a moment, Just a moment, please. A moment, please. A moment, please. A moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Important. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Yeah, right away, right away, right away is a synonym, a synonym of immediately. Yeah, immediately, right away. I just want to call your attention to this word pronunciation, important. So if you see, it's important, it's important. In fast English, you are going to hear important. 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 Ese último sonido más un sonido con la garganta que con la, digamos, con la lengua. It, it's not, it's not exactly important. No. 
and it's correct if you say important, but it is it's more here, important. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Oh, un sonido oh, como na, na, nasal y gutural. Un poco raro. Important. Mm. Es parecido a, a mountain. Mountain. Important. Ya no. Es, es más solamente acá. Important. Por si lo escuchan de esa manera, ¿no? Así es. Important. It's very important. Okay. Now, um, oof, we only have 10 minutes. But I think it's, it's we have. Look at this text, this uh, email, actually. This is an email. And the idea is to organize the activities Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Okay. What is the most important? Number one. What is second? Number two. You write it here. So actually there are four activities and you have to put them in order of importance. Okay. Let me read the, um, the email. It's from Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Okay, you remember the pronunciation of arroba is at y el punto es dot. Yes, arroba is at y el punto es dot. Entonces, esto lo leeríamos Daniel Ruiz at, at Travers.com. Okay. Did you know that? Just let me write it. At and dot. Okay. At dot. The subject, very important tasks for this month. Very important tasks for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in Belize from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it three hours each day. Call the new client from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26th and the right, no and to write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it for hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, Daniel Ruiz. Okay, according to the text, to the paragraph, to the email, what should she do first? And what is the order of the activities? Okay, work on that please. Contact the 
the first three potential customer. What is the first thing for you? For me, is the, mm, the most important. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, uh, it's, you better it's, it's write, write a new important. welcome letter for <laughs> letter for the new customer. Okay, let's do something. Um, in the chat, write what is number one for you, what is number two, what is number three, and what is number four. Imagine that you are Guadalupe and you have to organize the activities, okay, in order of priority. Imagínense que tienen que ordenar las actividades en orden de prioridad. ¿Ok? La, lo que le está encomendando Daniel Ruiz. What is the number one, number two, number three, and number four? Y escriban en el chat. the four activities in the correct order according to the email. For me, the, the first one is send the two latest sales reports. Second, write a new write a new welcome letter for the new customer. Number three, contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. And the last one, visit, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. Okay, well, there are different opinions. Let's, we're going to analyze this, not tomorrow, because tomorrow we are not having class. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. And you must celebrate it with your mother, with your wife, 
with your grandmother, with your mother-in-law, etc. So first, let me um, wish a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in this class. Okay, happy Mother's Day. I don't know. All thank of you. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed the day tomorrow. I hope you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. You be blessed by the Lord. Okay. And so we are going to continue with this class on Wednesday. All right. Good. I'm going to take the last attendance of the evening. And you can finish the activity. And so on Monday, así el lunes ya, ya traen en orden las actividades del email. Perfect. El, el miércoles. Miércoles. Okay. Let's take the last attendance of the evening. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. See you on Wednesday. Consuelo Saraí Rivas. Yes. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Ajá, uh -huh. Erika de Nilsson. No, here anymore. Okay, let me, let me do this. Okay, said so, Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Evelyn, and happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher, good night. Okay, happy Mother's Day, Gabriela. Thank you. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Okay, Jennifer. Are you a mother? Yes. Yes, right. Happy I Mother's twin. Day. Twin. You have twins? Oh, excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Here present, teacher. Okay, please don't go. Okay. Jose Miguel Massa didn't show up. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Good night. Good Mr. night. Mr. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present. Good okay. night for everyone. Good night. Marcos Vidal Lumaña. Marcos Vidal. Present. Okay, good Present. night. See you tomorrow. See you on good Wednesday. Night, teacher. Eh, Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present. Good night. Good night, Nelson. See you on Wednesday. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Okay. Good night. Good night. René Alessandro Teresón. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you, and see you on Wednesday. Ruth Abri Abigail Brito. Present, teacher. Good night. Okay, good night, Ruth, and happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. Sofia Carolina Hernandez. Present. Okay, are you a mother, Sofia? Yes. Excellent. Congratulations. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye-bye. See you on Wednesday. Okay. William Alexander Paniagua. 
present. Good night. Good night. Suleyma Rosibel didn't show up. Jorge Luis Martinez. Present teacher and good night. Good night. And Jose Fernando. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Okay. Very good. People, see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. Okay, Jose Abel. Yes. Well, this session is to respond some questions. If you have any question, any doubt. Mm, this class, no, no question. Mm. But I, in my case, very difficult and uh, double edge question. I don't see. No podía explicar, no sé, explicar, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Sure, sure, sure. WH questions or information yeah. question. Yes, it's uh, a very difficult for me. <laughs> okay, let's take a look to that. Here it is. Okay, so WH questions, this is the, oh, sorry, I'm not sharing the screen. Voy a compartir de pantalla. Okay. Vimos este cuadrito. And yeah. Verdad de eh, la estructura de las information questions. Hmm. First, lo primero es el, la WH word. Ok, la palabra de pregunta. Ese es el orden, eso es lo. Okay. Who, what, is, when. Con, ajá, ¿tú conoces el significado de cada una de estas palabras? Eh, la que no mucho me las puedo es who, why. Son las que sí me han costado un poco. Who and why. Who and why. ¿Estás? Yeah. Ok. Sí. Who is for people? Who are you? Who is who your you? boss? No, for example. Or who... Um, who is Ian? Okay, who? Who is your, yeah. your friend? Who is your brother? Okay, who are they? ¿Quiénes son ellos? Y en este caso, um, particular, porque son preguntas con otro tipo de verbos. Cuando tú preguntas, ¿quién? Eh, ¿Quién trabaja? O, o, los sábados, por ejemplo. Who Esas, Saturday. Exacto, ¿verdad? Esas preguntas no siguen esta estructura que está acá. Sino que who works on Saturdays. Saturdays. ¿Verdad? No usamos ni do, do ni, do, do, ni do, das. Do. Y el verbo se usa en tercera persona. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Es una excepción. De ahí, bueno, why is the question for reason. Why? Why? Razón. Exacto. Why are you late? Porque why are you studying English? Ok. Why... Do you uh, eat uh, what fish or why do you work here? So, por qué? 
Okay, that is why. Why? Okay. This is to, mm -hmm. to person, why? To reason. reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so lo primero en las palabras, en las preguntas de información es esto, la palabra de pregunta. And when is to time? Yes. And when, cuando? Yes. Okay. That's right. Okay. Where is, donde? Mm -hmm. How, como, how often? Como frecuencia. Ah. <laughs> Como I'm sorry. Y how much es cuánto. Cuánta. Y okay. faltaría acá how many. Que es cuántos o cuántas. Okay. ¿Ya? Hay una diferencia ahí en, en cuánto, cuánta, how much. ¿Cuántos, cuántas, how many? Ok. Ok. Luego, lo siguiente que se usa para una, formar la pregunta es el auxiliar. Do. What does. Or that. ¿Verdad? Yes. Do con I, you. Uh, do, pues lo usamos con I, you. Y con... We day. It does, pues, con he, she, it. It for objects or exactly. animals. Yes. Okay. Y luego okay. Lo, lo que sigue es el, el verbo. Complement. No, el verbo. The verb. El verbo siempre va en forma básica, sin conjugar. <laughs> ¿Ya? Así, okay. si formamos preguntas aquí, diríamos, por ejemplo, uh, What do you Work. think? Sí. What do you think? ¿Qué piensas? Ok. Ok. When does he It. When does he? Yeah, puede ser it. Hmm? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, where do they live? Where do they live? Donde viven ellos? Okay. Ese, es el, ese es el orden y la estructura de este tipo de Excellent. Okay. Okay, teacher. Very good. That's it. That's all for today. Okay. Have a good night. And see you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.